And this week, we are going to be going to five countries in five days, although that does include England. Right, in we go. What is this? Now, this is really, really quick. To go from zero to having a product on the website in a month is by far the fastest we've ever done it. We see their fit is different, their style is fit different. They have created with all their own ideas. So it is not something copied from anywhere. Absolutely beautiful, and this is the highest level of product that we've ever made. The fact that we can do this now is absolutely outstanding. We never, ever, ever could have done this six or 12 months ago. That's insane. Died actually, but we're just going to give you a quick update on the business, what's sort of gone on over the last few years. A brand is selling lots of things from web, and they are very young. And my friends has told me that it's the joke. I said, no, I believe. So we boarded and we're flying business class to Istanbul, which means we get really, really nice comfy seats. We're flying with the Turkish Airlines, as you can see, so we're going to go English here. And I am going to do my absolute utmost to get a load of work done on this flight. It's only, I think it's about three and a half hours off the top of my head. So yeah, going to be trying to get a load of to-dos and work done, send a few messages and things. I'm hoping there is Wi-Fi. And it is great to be back working with our suppliers, with our partners, and I cannot wait to get out there and be working on the product. And this is our last view of beautiful Birmingham, the land of hope and glory. And three and a half hours later, we have landed into Istanbul. Just come off the plane. So here we are. But it's weird because we took off in the morning. Didn't feel like we were flying for that long. We've landed and it's dark, but we were three, three and a half hours in the air. And then I think we're moving forward three hours. So yeah, we've landed, happy to be here. Now we're going to go through passport control and get to our first meeting and meal of the day. It is. Oh, it's the same one. Yeah, we had a Maybach last time. I mean, I don't know how legit it is, I don't know, but there's a sign. Right, in we go. Day one, and it is Tuesday today in Istanbul and the views from the room are very nice. I mean, the window is a bit dirty, so I don't know how well you can see that. But yeah, the sun is rising over Istanbul. So we're gonna be going and spending some time with our supplier here in Istanbul, which I'm very much looking forward to. Yeah, these factory trips are always really, really good fun because we were laughing about it yesterday. There's, there's just always a surprise on a trip like this. There's always something that doesn't quite go to plan or something that is just not what you expect, which is good fun because it could be just, you know, a change to the trip. It could be a new product that we find it could be a new material or silhouette construction just something like that which always makes these trips so so exciting uh, it's going to be a busy day so we're going to be in the factory all day and then we literally get picked up from the factory straight to the airport and we're flying out to milan but uh let's get going you're even so smaller we, than that we like, like this we like the, the smallest one we like that you can still see the cord. That's what yeah. we thought. Yeah. We've just been looking at different materials that we can use in a product that we're hoping to launch next month. Now, this is really, really quick. To go from zero to having the product on the website in a month is by far the fastest we've ever done it. So yeah, we're just looking at some materials. I think it's really cool. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. We can make some good progress. <laughs> what? Oh, was you there? Was you in the background? <laughs> if you're wondering why this thing is covering my face, this is just because it was a sample. We're going to completely change this neck for obvious reasons. But the material is absolutely amazing. And I'm a massive, massive fleece fan. I love fleece. So this is a sample from a range that is going live in January, which we're really, really excited about. And it's going live in a very, very famous shop that is based in London on a very famous street, which I'm very excited about. But this material is absolutely beautiful. And this is the highest level of product that we've ever made. It's absolutely outstanding. It's beautiful, it's beautifully made. But yeah, this is a sample. I'm gonna change this up and I want this to look a little bit more like the shape of my vital core zip. So this is a uh, washable, like double 60 yarn. It's really, really fine yarn from one to My name is Inan, by the way. I'm just working as a team leader in Astar. What I was introduced with Gymshark, the internet communication and the sales was very new all around the world, which is also get engaged with the Europe side. Some of our friends was working in Gymshark. It was a big opportunity to get contacted with them, but nobody believed that 
Most of the people think that it is a joke that a brand is selling lots of things from web and they are very young. And my friends have told me that is it a joke or is it something that we are involving in a new scenery that will be not ended? I said, no, I believe. They are not following up something in the market, okay? They have their own ideas and they just want to get their own ideas bigger and bigger. So it was not something which is imitated or taken from other brands. We have, we have felt it because we see their fit is different, their style is fit different, their uh, material is different because they have created with all their own ideas. So it is not something copied from anywhere. This is an advanced version of what we used to use. Bring it. And also any gym shell that they're making now. Okay. Thank you. What is that? What is this? <laughs> this was heavyweight sweats. So um, this is one of the options. Yeah. Uh, I think the guys have seen some samples, but we're trying to do that whole grunge look. Yeah. With the diet packs. So yeah, that's four persons. <laughs> yeah. We're currently stood downstairs um, at one of our suppliers here in Istanbul and we've had an amazing day so far. We've only been here for one day and we've already been working on three or four different samples, some of which are longer term things, some of which we're hoping to get launched by next month. And I think that's one of the, I mean, there's lots of different reasons that we produce here in Istanbul, but they're so great, particularly here, at doing fast turnaround product. And we had a really, really successful start to Black Friday. We've now realized there is a gap in our product, particularly in December and January time. We've had a look at the materials that we've got and we've said, what can we produce in time what newness, what ideas do we have, what designs do we have that we can produce quickly enough to get online in the next three to four weeks. So, and by the way, the fact that we can do this now is absolutely outstanding. We never, ever, ever could have done this six or 12 months ago. So yeah, what we're doing is we're trying to rapidly react to what's going on. And even though it's not going to be necessarily completely brand new product, but there are some other products that are doing really well, which we're going to amend slightly and adjust slightly with a new material, which will then be delivered hopefully by next month. I am now walking into the airport here in Istanbul and today has been a brilliant, brilliant day with the suppliers. It has been non-stop. We're all absolutely knackered. This airport is huge, by the way. And now we are going to be jumping on a plane to Milan. I've never been to Milan and I haven't been to Italy in a long, long time. So I'm very, very excited to get out there and see what it's like. A10A. Eight. Eight. A, 10, A. I. I don't know what the A is. A for you is really a lot of effort. It's <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? It's so much effort. But how do you um, say it? Because you can like go on for ages. <laughs> so, day one in Milan, we are just about to get into the bus and we're starting off by going to a school and then we are going to see some of the well we're going to meet the people that manufacture a lot of the machines that we use to produce a lot of our product so this is going to be a good day and it's great to be in Italy blue skies great food great people great coffee great day <laughs> so we're halfway to our destination in Milan which is the school that we're going to visit and we've decided to stop at a services a auto grill because personally I'm a massive fan of services I feel like it's a good way to get to know an area so gonna pop in get a drink maybe a snack or two for the day just so that we're good and yeah welcome to auto grill it does smell good doesn't it food in Italy very good very good good bread that's really good nice bread out of 10 what are you giving it gloucester services being a 10 beaconsfield being a nine seven you're not getting beaconsfield a nine beaconsfield's got nando's let's define our purpose at the school 
As part of our community strategy, we're looking into partnering with local suppliers on community projects near to our factories to support the people in those areas. So we have just finished up at the school. It was really cool. That was really, really cool. So we had a tour around the school. We saw all the facilities, met the students, the teachers. Um, and now we're going to head over the road to Santoni, which is the company that produces so many of the machines that we use to make our product. I'm Jonathan Pears. I'm the agent for Santoni in the UK and Ireland. That's my sales territory. My family has been in textiles since 62, again in the UK, representing various Italian companies. So uh, just before Christmas in 2018, a fellow called Zach Singh was trying to get hold of me. Uh, spoke to Santoni in Italy, spoke to my office in England, could I come in? Hadn't heard of Jim Sharp before. Um, this was just the run up to Christmas. I'd said, OK, yeah, so January, when do you want to? No, 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 I have to see you in December. Met various of your team, met Ben and suddenly understood what was behind what Gymshark was and was trying to be. My daughters had come back from university and they said, where have, you, where have you been today, Dad? It's nearly Christmas. And I said, oh, I've been to a company called Gymshark. Well, you've been to Gymshark, me, an ancient guy, the dinosaur, going to Gymshark. Yeah, yeah. And I met Ben. You met Ben? And suddenly I understood the power that you've got and how it's more than here's a product, you buy it. You're giving them a whole thing. You're giving them a community to be part of. And that suddenly opened our eyes. We weren't dealing with, the, with respect the massive brands, but you were more than that because you were offering a community. And that was something we, we hadn't got any use or experience of. That was new. It didn't take too long of it. I mean, you can see how many slides there is on the side, actually. But we're just going to give you a quick update on the business, what's sort of gone on over the last few years. So we're just finish up, finished up with Santoni now, and we're going to head to lunch. But we've been looking at some of their new machines, what they're capable of, some products that have been made on the new machines. We've got a load of problems that we're trying to solve, and a lot of really cool, well, a lot of cool product problems that we're trying to solve, which are great because it means that we're hopefully in the future going to be making better and better product. But again, now just being able to be here with Santoni who make the machines on which our product is made, it means that we can really, you know, think carefully about the future of our product. And even just then we were just chatting about some of the men's tops that we want to build on these machines, some of the women's leggings, Gymshark sells and has done so much seamless product and we've done such an amazing job in the last 11 years of our history as I think popular, popularising seamless, particularly leggings uh, and even core zip tops like what I'm wearing now. But being here today has made me realise just how much more opportunity there is for us in the seamless space. So very, very excited. But now we are going to go and get some food. <laughs> Day four, last day in Milan, going to meet some more suppliers today. And then about half two, I think we're being picked up to go to the airport and we're going to be flying to Lisbon and then up to Porto, staying the night in Portugal, working all day in Portugal tomorrow and then going home. But anyway, yes, it is now Thursday, last day in Milan, let's go. Just arrived at the suppliers. After a lovely drive with a lovely driver, listening to Pavarotti and looking forward to a very good day. And today we're going to be working on some very technical garments. So my name is Laurent and I'm in charge of product and supply chain at Gymshark. I think what was important for Gymshark first is to make sure the factory is fit for the right purpose 
So it's why today we are in a factory because we can see the technical capability and then we spend uh, most of the afternoon to review uh, product to understand how far they can go in terms of innovation with the product in Seamless. I think what really matters for us today, if we look at the supplier base we have in Seamless, which is more Middle East and Far East, this supplier is located in Europe. It's only two hour flight from Birmingham. So the team can meet the supplier anytime to develop any new product and then we can get this product in six to eight weeks uh, in our store. I think the Gymshark quality is already quite consistent, so I don't think this, this supplier will bring anything else in terms of quality, but definitely in terms of uh, design, functionality of the product, we will push the boundary of uh, the Gymshark range by using this supplier. I think this is the kind of short I always so use. Good morning. This is our last day on the trip and our first full proper day in Porto and we're kicking off the morning by going for a little bit of a morning stroll just to get some fresh air before what is a very exciting but long day here. So we're going to be meeting a factory today. It's a very, very high-end factory. They do some incredible product. I've not actually seen this supplier before, so I'm looking forward to meeting them for the first time. But first impressions of Porto are that it is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at this McDonald's. This is McDonald's. So yes, look at this as well. I mean, there's a lot of construction going on. So that's the hotel that we're in, that one, that building there. Look at all this, absolutely stunning. Flew out on Monday, flying home on Friday. I think it's six flights in five days, something like that. Several different countries, and there's a couple of things. One, I'm really happy to be back in Europe. Really happy to be back on the continent, as they call it. And I think the, a lot of the suppliers that we've met this trip are suppliers that will really allow us to push the boundaries of Gymshark products and try new things, their new technologies. We were met with not only the suppliers that actually manufacture the product, but the people that manufacture the machine. So being able to meet those, those guys has been outstanding. And it really helps me see the opportunities that lie ahead for us, of which there are so many, absolutely so many. And I think sometimes living in our bubble at Gymshark, in our Gymshark offices, you can think there are certain elements that you wonder how much further can we push it. And I think coming on this trip this week has made me realize that there is still so much opportunity for us so much room for growth, so much room for improvement in the product. And uh, yes, I find that very exciting. We're going to see the supplier. We're then gonna head to the airport, fly to Frankfurt, and then from Frankfurt back to the promised land of Birmingham. So my name is Brian Bullard. I am head of menswear and accessories here at Gymshark. So today we're in Portugal. We're outside of Porto. We're looking at a new vendor that's super exciting. We can do some luxury goods with. We want to use this for our bespoke athlete products, for our collabs, and some exciting things coming in the future. So working with this vendor will allow us to do really high-end product. We can do innovation with them, get fully bonded garments really high spec to get the detail that we want and we know that our customer loves. Innovation is at the heart of Gymshark and exploring these new vendors and coming to visit them really allows us to understand their capabilities and how we can bring that into our products, um, not only for innovation, but for sustainability as well. Today was absolutely brilliant. We're just walking in to the airport here in Porto to catch our flight to Frankfurt. But yeah, today was brilliant. It was a really, really productive meeting. I think the suppliers that we met today, can we can work with really closely. I'm really excited to build some truly special product with them. But for now, we're gonna go and get our plane. <laughs> it didn't hit me, it hit the camera, but I thought it hit me because I was I basically won with the camera. Oh, that's anyway. We're just walking into the airport. We are going to catch our flight. Next stop, Frankfurt, Germany.